Have you ever wondered what the chances of success in network marketing is? I mean, what would it actually take to build a full-time income? Now, I wanna talk about the numbers today. This is something, I wanna share a secret. It's not a secret, but it's something that people don't know to ask the question to. And I wanna share that with you because if you're thinking about maybe Beachbody with me or maybe you're thinking about another company, I think it's important to do a little bit of research before you dive right in. Know what you're getting into and you know what it's gonna take to possibly get to where you wanna get. Now, this video is for the people that want to provide a full-time income to their family. This isn't, if you're just trying to make you know a, a few thousand dollars a year or a couple hundred bucks a month or something, this is not for you because I think in that case, as long as you love the product and you share that and provide value with people, they will buy and they'll be happy and you're gonna make some money. Awesome. But if you're looking to provide a full-time income for your family, then you need to know what your chances of success are and how many people before you are doing it. So here's a question you gotta ask. Here's the secret sauce is you need to go to the company's website and whatever their people are called, for example, in Beachbody we're called coaches, uh, in Plexus, I believe they're called Ambassadors, Mary Kay, Sensi, I don't know, whatever they're called, independent distributors, whatever they are, you need to look up their income disclosure or income earning statement for the following year and see how many people are making the type of money that you want to make. Now, I'm starting this kind of study here. Now, certain companies have like a lot of ranks, uh, as compared to other companies and, and how they report it uh, might be a little different. But that being said, you know, I'm, I'm doing a, kind of a comparison. Now I'm not saying one's better than the other. This is just information that you need to consider. I'm not here to knock any type of company or anything like that, but it's just something you need to know before you jump in because this is, I did my research and I'm a numbers guy. So this, I like to nerd out on this type of stuff. So here we go. Uh, in this particular company, $55,000. Now, $55,000 a year, I think, is livable. And I don't know if it's the average, I don't know what the national average is, but it is and would be considered a full-time income for at least a statement of this argument, uh, if you think it's different, whatever. But in this particular company, point, that's point, so 0.23% of the people were making $55,000, a full-time income, 0.23. That's not a lot of people and their next level up for their next rank, now this is kind of a few ranks, this isn't the first rank in their company, was 112,000, a much more uh, manageable yearly income, 0.14. And then their highest at around $430,000 a year, very, 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 very livable, uh, 0 0.05. So we're talking like 0 0.23, 0 0.14, 0 0.05. So you've gotta be pretty damn good in that company to make a full-time income. Again, this is not just making a few bucks, this is a full-time income. Now, the only number I have for my particular company was 1.7%, 1.7%. Now that is five to six times more percentage of people than this other one that I'm comparing it to and they were making 110,000. That is way up there, way up there. So if you wanna look at the numbers, 110,000 versus this other company's 112, let's say that's the exact same number, uh, 0.14 to 1.7. That is an insane difference. So the point of this is not to you know have you research what company this was and, and this was or anything like that, or even really brag about my company, even though, well, let's be, Frank, you know, I did my math and, and I do like to brag about them. But if you're looking into this type of thing, it's important to look up that statement. Find it on their website. By my knowledge, they are required to uh, list that. And then just do a little bit of research. Take a look for yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, you can, of course, message me. I love nerding out and doing all this stuff. You know, every company is going to have the legal disclaimer of, you know, they, they don't guarantee any success within the company. It's based on your own particular abilities and hard work. But that being said, I wanted to share that with you because I think a lot of people um, need to know this information. And, uh, and you may not know to ask the question and that's half the battle is just knowing what questions to ask. Hope you'd enjoy it. Good luck.